what we will be making today are cocoa bombs. I know we see these a lot around the holidays, these super cute holiday themed cocoa bombs. Well, I decided to do my own spin on it. Two reasons. It is gonna be Valentine's Day themed hearts, pinks, reds, all those cute things we think about when we think Valentine's Day, but it's also vegan. I made a vegan version of a not vegan classic. So I'm gonna dive right in and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. All right, before we dive into the content though, if you could smash that subscribe button, that would mean the world to me. Great way to show some love on this love holiday, all right? So smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, let's get started. Boaz, Bobo, hey. You're in my workspace, dude. Can I have my spot back? Huh? Bobo, Bobo. Can I have my spot back? No? Okay. All right, so the first part of making these cocoa bombs is to get a silicone uh, mold like this. They also have hard plastic molds that you can use to make the casing for the cocoa bombs. All right, so out of the mold, this is what we've got. Um, I made this basically, I just got some uh, vegan chocolate chips or vegan chocolate chunks and I heated a pot with boiling water and I had the chips in a mason jar because you don't want to put the chocolate directly onto the heat source. It can burn your chocolate. You want to cook it in a water bath so that it melts the chocolate. And then I did two coats on the inside of my mold. It's a little bit dirty right now because I was using it, but it's a flexible silicone mold and one coat is not going to be enough. It is going to be too thin. So I did two coats, put it in the freezer so they could get really, really hard. And then this is what it came out like. Super, super cute. You got to be careful not to handle it too much though, because it will start to melt. So the next step is I am going to put my fillings inside of it. I will show you what I'm going to do. Basically, I made my own hot cocoa mix. And all this is, is sugar, and cocoa powder and a little bit of salt. So you can um, use whatever kind of sweetener you'd like. It can be coconut sugar, it can be regular sugar, it can be brown sugar, whatever you want to add to your liking to sweeten it, that's what you're gonna do here. And then I am going to be using these super cute holiday themed sprinkles. And I also, whoo, that was not closed. That would have been really bad. I also have some maple flavored vegan marshmallows that are going to be going into it as well. Super delicious. These are so good, but so simple to make. You're going to love it. All right, here we go. I'm going to show you. Just want to show you real quick. These are the marshmallows that we use. So I got these around Thanksgiving time. You might not be able to find the maple flavored, but you can find regular dandies, which are vegan marshmallows. <laughs> marshmallows, they're so good. I love maple, so I'm really excited about this. It adds that little punch of flavor. But yes, just want to show you, that is it. All right, so first thing I'm going to add is the cocoa mix. It's about one heaping tablespoon woo, per uh, cocoa bomb. All right, so the next thing I'm going to add is gonna be those sprinkles. We're gonna add a little bit of that. And now for the marshmallows. All right, so the next step is gonna be putting them together. So the way that we're gonna do this is we are taking a hot pan and just touching one of the halves, the halves that isn't loaded with the toppings, to that pan to get that chocolate melted around the edge and then we're gonna enclose it onto the other half that has all of our yummy toppings in it. And that's gonna close it up and make it its little bomb. All 
right, hopefully you can hear me over our neighbors doing yard work. But cocoa bombs are done. It's as simple as that. So now all we got to do is actually make the hot cocoa. So cocoa bombs done. They are sealed. They are ready to go in my mug. And we're going to pour some really, really hot coconut milk over the top of it and watch the magic happen. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here is my mug. Cocoa bomb going in. All right, hot, hot milk. We're gonna watch the magic happen. Here we go. go y'all saw how simple that was right stirring up the magic you gotta stir it around you gotta get that delicious rich chocolate mixed in melt those marshmallows oh, it is so good i think it's probably too hot to drink at the moment i'm gonna let it cool down say hi to boaz he's my little shoulder pet it's always got to be a part of it. So here we go. Let's check it out. Oh man, that is so good. You will never miss regular hot chocolate again. Give this vegan hot chocolate a try. It is so good. I love that little um, nutty taste from the coconut milk. If you're not a big fan of coconut flavor, you can use any oat milk. You can use oat milk any nut milk you can use oat milk flax milk nut milk cashew milk whatever kind tickles your fancy give it a try so so good i'm gonna eat a marshmallow you want some mm. that is a win in my book try it let me know what you think oh That is it. Super simple, short video, super delicious treat that you can make for yourself. If you don't have a Valentine, if you want to share the love, give it to people you love. It makes an awesome homemade gift. I personally love homemade gifts. Um, they're just extra special. So give it a try. Give it to the ones that you care for. And uh, let me know how it turns out. Let me know what you think. But until next time, I hope you have a blessed one. Happy Valentine's Day. See you next time.